This is an S-type blood cell. It's called an S-type blood cell. Can you guess why? Because it's S-shaped. <laughs> Did you get the joke? Yeah, I did. It's an S-type blood cell because it's shaped like an S. Yeah. Um, and behind this cover, it's milled straight through. So there's a circular hole straight through to the other side. And that means that the, the walls of that circular mill out here and here are relatively thin. So when you load it up and you squash it, all the loads coming down here, all the loads going up there, it's causing a twisting around that around that hole. Um, and so it's causing, uh, if I'm squashing it, it's causing an extension in that one and a compression in that one. Um, and that means that this, the shape of the metal in that bore here and here is changing. It's actually changing in, in size. It's minuscule, it's like micron level, but it is changing. And so inside here, bonded up against the upper surface and down against the bottom surface of that, um, I can probably find a picture, of that uh, mill out is a strain gauge. And the strain gauge is a resistor basically, um, which changes its resistance with, with length effectively, but with these tiny changes in length. And so as you load it up, the resistance changes and you can measure it. And the resistance changes by a tiny amount, but with amplifiers and a Wheatstone bridge and blah, 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 blah. So, oh, it's gone to sleep. So when I squash it, we can we can read that. And when I stretch it, we read in the opposite direction. Squash, stretch, squash, <laughs> stretch. Um, and it's pretty sensitive, so just let it scroll out. And then like we can put something fairly light, like my empty glasses case on there. And we can like easily read that. So it's very sensitive, but this load cell has the capacity of a ton. So we can um, easily measure the forces on the drawbar. So this is gonna go in the drawbar of the trailer and in line with the drawbar of the trailer. And so when we accelerate, pull, and we read that, uh, that tension, the bike trying to pull the trailer, and that causes more power to go to the motors. So we send more power to the motors when we um, need to push more. And then when I'm braking and the trailer is sort of pushing into the back of the bike and that compresses this, again, we read that and we apply brake, braking. Um, and the, the skill, the knack, is in tuning the feedback loop so that when I accelerate, I put some force on here, that causes the motors to spin up. And of course, when the motors spin up, it's going to push it into the back of the trailer, so it's now going to be reading that it needs to break, and you can end up in oscillations like that. So we use a, it's a whole different thing to talk about, but we use a PID control loop, PID control loop, to, to deal with that. But um, tuning that is going to be the fun part. Um, but simply speaking, we read whether we need to accelerate or brake and do it. Well, this is the drawbar, basically. I mean, it's missing the um, tow hitch that mounts on here, and it goes... This goes through here, and this is mounted in the two bearing blocks so that it can pivot up and down because it has to pivot up and down um, so that you can like, you know, navigate hills and everything. Um, so you can't just run on perfectly flat ground. And then as the bike turns, it pulls that around, which turns the wheel here. So this is the load cell mounted in the middle. And I think I've talked about the load cell before. S-type load cell, yada, yada, yada. Quite happy with how it's all mounted now. So what I've done is written up a little do for any. This shows the data coming in from the load cell and it just scales. So like, as I push and pull on the load cell, we can see this is approximate kilogram force here. Um, quite approximate, it's not very well calibrated. This is the raw value from the sensor. So how many kilogram force is that right at the top? <sighs> push to about the 20, 20 kilogram force. So, so what we're going to do, once we've got this mounted on the trailer, is go for a drive around, really, and, and monitor this and um, uh, get some sense of the forces that are on here um, under different scenarios, which will inform the tuning of the control loops which drive the motors. So yeah, we'll be like um, figuring out what uh, 
the undriven forces on this look like, so what the forces on here look like when the motors aren't doing anything, when the brakes aren't doing anything.